Island. And after two grid sprints today here on qualifying day Saturday, the grid is now set with pole position going to trading post Ford Performance Racing's Will Davison and Luke Yulden. You know, for me, I, I didn't know what was going on. I just, just the engineers were telling me, just, just keep doing what you're doing and, and we're in a pretty good spot. So pretty trouble-free race. I think um, with, with the cool weather, we, we changed the car a little bit from, from advice from Will. I think the track changed a lot and I think we probably changed the car probably too much for those conditions. I think we probably should have left it how we had uh, Will's car. Yeah, there's probably a pretty decent chance. I think a lot of the teams will run that strategy, but we'll wait and see and uh, see what the weather does tomorrow. And uh, we've just got to be on our toes, have all types of different case scenarios panned out, and um, you know we'll just go for it tomorrow. But uh, yeah, I think we've got a little bit of tinkering to do tonight. No doubt about that. We we certainly you know changed some things for the car for Luke, so we'll go and debrief now. And uh, you know. Um, I don't think he was entirely happy with the way the car was, but we don't, your weather's going to play a huge part tomorrow. So, um, yeah, it's great for FPR. I think all three cars are on a pretty solid grid position for tomorrow. So, uh, see what tomorrow brings. But, uh, no, this feels good. It's very exciting. Of course, there's going to be some pressure, but uh, when you're working with someone like Garth, it's, uh, I think it makes it easier rather than harder. Um, I'd prefer to be in this position than have a co-driver that maybe isn't um, as up to scratch as he is. So, um, everything they or Garth and the team tell me, I just take on board and um, put it into practice on the track and today's shown that uh, you get, get decent results from it. So um, can't thank them enough for the opportunity and I'm just looking forward to uh, doing my thing tomorrow and uh, seeing how we end up. Yeah, you know, we'll just have to see how the car is when we start tomorrow in the afternoon, um, as the guys have been saying. Uh, with the warmer temperatures in the earlier race, it was quite different. So we made some really good changes to, to the car for Shane. Uh, whether they'll replicate tomorrow in the afternoon, we'll have to wait and see. But uh, we're working in quite a small window, so we, we're pretty confident we're going to um, get the car right. Uh, to me, they're, they're all the same. Obviously, there's a bit more uh, about it. Winning, winning here would be cool, but uh, you know, it's, it all counts towards the championship. But uh, after this morning's practice, when I ran a 34-0, I you know, didn't know. You know, I think uh, Lowndes was doing a 33-0. I didn't know how we were going to do that. We were struggling a little bit there on new tyres, but um, Johnny Mack did a great job in qualifying. Dave tuned the car up and when I got in it was just awesome where we'd been struggling with the balance a bit. So uh, yeah, to, to have that confidence again in the car was really good and straight from lap one I was pushing. Oh look, it's busy and it's a busy day for the teams, but um, you know, as you said, it's the third time we've run this format, so the teams are starting to get their head around it. Where I think um, and you know, you guys could probably answer this question better than us, but whether or not the people at home and the people on the side of the track can follow what's going on with the pit stop across two races um, is working well enough or not. Um, it probably wouldn't be such a bad thing if we just gave us all an extra set of tyres and everyone did a pit stop um, in both the sprint races. But um, yeah, I think, I think the format's different, it's unique. Um, you know, it certainly worked for us this weekend. You know, we were, had a fourth and an eighth on the grid and now we start second. So. Um, you know, you've got to you've got to manipulate it and work it to the to your advantage, and we've done that to get ourselves a good starting spot. Um, but it really, all you're doing is um, you know mucking around until we get racing tomorrow. So, you know, I've won, won the race here from tenth, we've and we've won the race where we'd start second or something when we won the race it's third. So, um, you know, 500 k's around here is a very very long way as far as how the strategy plays out, how the fuel economy plays out, and how the tyres play out. So. Um, you know, grid positions all irrelevant, but the good thing is there's um, plenty of supercars on the track all day today, so people coming down and watching on the side of the track um, get plenty of action.